Hi guys, so today I'm doing a art supply haul and I just want to show you guys the things that I bought on Amazon, everything I bought on Amazon and this came up to about, um, I think it was about $80, $74 I think. So I'm going to show you everything that I got. So first thing I bought were these Micron pens. Um, it's way better than what I use. I just use a Sharpie and it, especially with markers, it, um, bleeds. So, Sharpie, I decided to get these instead and we'll see how those work out. Then I bought some Prismacolor, the 24 set, the Premieres, yeah. So I bought these and I didn't buy a lot of stuff. I just bought things that I needed. Um, I bought these Winston and Newton brush markers and this is the first time buying them so I'm going to color two pictures and um, and um, show you the colors of these. So this is kind of like a haul and plus a review for these. And the last thing I bought was a moleskin notebook. So yeah, I bought this. I really wanted one. I need. I have like these um, big sketchbooks, but I don't really have like little things I can just like do the one drawing. So I bought one of these. This is only like thirteen dollars. I'm very happy with it. Um, shipping was only three days. Of course, it's Amazon, but I have Amazon Prime, which is like you. Um, have to buy it it's like a hundred dollars a year so I have Amazon Prime so it just came in it was supposed to be three days but it actually ended up turning out to be coming today so it's supposed to come on the 12th but it came on the 11th okay so time to get to the second part which is reviewing these markers I'm gonna color in two things and I'm also gonna be using in my picture these Copic markers. Um, I was gonna buy a Copic set, but it was like forty-four dollars for skin tones because, like, that's what I need. I was gonna buy the Winston and Newton skin tones, but the shipping would have been not until April fifteenth, and I didn't want to wait that long. So I'm either debating because I have five to six skin tone colors, but none of them are like correct because at the Michaels that I live by in Albany they don't like have um actual like the whole thing it's just like whatever so I just picked up the skin tones and these are the only two that actually go good together that I have so I want to buy I'm probably most likely going to order the Copic marker skin tones um it's only $44 and I wanted to get a jelly roll a white um gel pen so that's probably what I'm going to buy next and yeah okay so um yeah. so on to the marker review hey so I hope you can see this very good um these are the colors I did swatches so like I don't have to like do a test on um on another sheet of paper while I'm coloring to see like what the colors like because they have like one on the package but it's not like the actual color um so the black is pretty black anyway a warm gray which is actually really nice it's a warm gray five so i'm guessing they have like a lot of different types of grays um but yeah and then uh, the cocoa is brown um i would probably use that as a skin tone because my copic brow is way way day way darker than that that I have and um yeah and then the greens are nice um I wish I had more like a yellowy one but of course this is only a set of uh 24 markers so yeah it's not really like super fancy or anything um Two, two blues, a boil blue and 
a lighter blue. I like them both. Um, the Royal Blue has a lot of purple in it. Um, I would like a little less purple, but it's whatever. Um, so purple is nice purple. Magenta is really bright. Like, <laughs> when I wrote this out, I was like, oh my goodness. It's really bright. The red has a little bit too much orange in it to be, like, actually red. But it's okay. Because, like, right next to the orange, it looks like an orangey color. But it's actually red. So, yeah, that's kind of a problem, but not that much because I'll use it anyway because I don't have another red marker. And pumpkin is pretty good. And yellow is really yellow. And I also did my microns like to see the difference if my daughter is pulling all the wipes out of her white thing. So sorry. Okay. Sorry. Um had to stop her before she pulled out all of them. But yeah. So I just did this to like see the difference in length and um, thickness so like I wouldn't have to do it on the test paper before I like outline anything. So it's just like here and all ready for me. So yeah, that's the five, the one, the point zero zero five. One, two, um, that's three, five, eight, and then that's my Sharpie. So you can see my Sharpie's like really Thank you, Olive. Um, my Sharpie's like really, really thick. And that's what I've been like outlining with. But like I've kind of figured out that it's like too thick. And so yeah, this is this is it. These are all the ones Sarah Newton for the um. What is this called? Well, this is just a brush marker, the vibrant, colorful pack. It's twelve plus. It comes with the blender. That's what the plus is for. So yeah. It's actually pretty good. I haven't tested the blender blender and I should right now. So I'm gonna test the blender for you guys. And cause Copic I feel like their blender just like makes things lighter, like it rips the color. So I'm wondering if this blender does the same or if it's different or why not. This one I'm just going to blend naturally I guess. Like with just my markers blending into each other. I guess it is like an actually blender, not like a lifter like in the Copics one. But I might have done it wrong or not completely right. It's whatever you guys think. Um, but yeah. So I will actually be using it as a blender. Because that looks actually pretty decent. That one looks kind of weird, but I think I fucked it up. But yeah. So now we're going to color in my pictures. Okay, so these are my two pictures. I drew, drew the doctors the 10th and the 11th. Um, so yeah, I'm going to color in these two pictures. Okay, so first things first, I wanted to apologize for my hand being in the way. I was too stupid to think that if I write with my right hand that I should have the camera angled on the left. So I'm so sorry, I was just gonna edit, I was just gonna delete these, but I wanted to show you how the markers worked, and you can see it, my hands not in the way all the time, but like, I'm really sorry, and if you don't want to watch this part, then just fix out the video now, um, next time I'm gonna do better and learn from my mistakes. So, um, anyway, these markers, I only have six Copic markers. That I've been using to do skin tones on my pictures and the thing I like about these is that it doesn't dry as fast as Copic does like it's a lot of ink that comes out 
and it gives me time to like if I was gonna blend then it would give me time to like blend like with my Copics they dry so fast especially when I'm trying to like color a face and I need it to blend it in the Copics is it, they just dry fast and these like it's like more ink comes out and it stays wet for longer and I like that a lot and for the cheaper brand I guess yeah because these are cheaper this is it's actually true. really good and I actually like it a lot um, yeah but David Tennant is my favorite doctor so this picture is like I'm like in love with both of these pictures so I like I love them a lot and I decided to do one red cover and one yellow cover <laughs> because he usually wears red or yellow so yeah and um yeah this is the picture hope you guys don't mind my hand again I'm sorry for that it's also in the other drawing my hands in the way but I try to next time I'll try to do my best and not do that okay so enjoy the rest of this me drawing uh, Matt Smith as the 11th doctor so, yeah this was like more sorry one more thing to say this was like the funnest thing to draw like I don't know why this is just made me happy drawing these because I just love Doctor Who a lot I'm like kind of obsessed with Doctor Who so yeah drawing these just make me happy okay so enjoy the rest of this video and thank you guys for watching and and check out my Instagram and these might go as prints on my Etsy shop maybe uh, so yeah thanks bye Let's begin.